When building a custom car audio system, there is one very important piece of gear that you can include in order to truly have full control over the system. That piece of gear is the inclusion of a digital signal processor, or DSP for short. By connecting with an app or a program, a DSP allows us to control crossovers, time alignment, equalization, and tons of other settings for every channel of output on the system. This allows us to truly tune an audio system to perfection. Now in the past, most DSPs were a standalone device that would go between your source unit and your aftermarket amplifiers in the signal path. But more and more nowadays, we are seeing the DSP built into the amps. So with that explanation out of the way, is a DSP amplifier the right choice for you? Hey everyone, I'm Mark. Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication. Here on this channel, we learn how to master car audio and how to design, build, and install our dream car audio system. Let's discuss. Really quick, before we get into the content, a thank you to Moscone America for being our sponsor for this video and providing this prop here to use as this is the Moscone Gladen Pico DSP amplifier. The Pico line actually has the same form factor for both DSP integrated and normal amplifiers, but this amplifier's compact size makes it an awesome choice for those stealthy audio system upgrades where we want to install the amplifier in a hidden location in the vehicle. The included Molex style wiring makes install a breeze, and this particular model, the 810, allows for 8 channels of input and 10 channels of output, 8 of which are powered with the final two allowing for signal to be sent to a separate amp while maintaining DSP control. You can learn more about the Pico lineup at the link down in the video description. So the first reason that a DSP amplifier might be the right choice for you is if space is a factor. This is very simple to understand by incorporating the DSP into the amplifier itself, we obviously have one less device that we have to find room for if we had that DSP as a standalone unit. Honestly guys, I keep looking at this amplifier and I cannot believe how small this is to be able to have 10 channels of DSP controlled output. With that said, the second reason that a DSP amplifier might be the right choice for you is if you are looking for simplicity in your install. Let's think about the fact that since the DSP is built into the amp, we don't have to have signal going between an external DSP and an amplifier. Obviously that signal connection is all made internally within this device. By having a DSP integrated amplifier, it also greatly simplifies our wiring in terms of power wiring. We only need to provide a power ground and turn on lead to this one device. Especially in installs where we're looking to save space and looking to tuck this into a compact area in the vehicle, that simplicity in the wiring of this device is greatly going to help us. The next reason a DSP built-in amplifier might be the right choice for you is actually when it comes to the terms of your budget. Now I know what you're thinking, you are correct. Typically when you're going to add DSP into a system, the system is going to of course increase in price for that added technology. But with that said, when you go about comparing your options of a standalone DSP and an amplifier against a DSP built-in amplifier, as long as they're usually from the same company and have roughly the same specs, you're going to find that usually the DSP integrated amplifier is actually going to be a better value. And again, I think it's also worth considering on the topic of budget, the fact that the DSP is built into the amplifier, you save the money on all that wiring and the different installation accessories that you would need for two separate devices when you go with the one integrated device. Another reason a DSP amplifier might be the perfect choice for you is if you're truly looking for the best performance out of your audio system. As we described in the introduction, obviously installing a DSP allows you to have full control over the tuning of the system. If it's important to you to truly have the best performing audio system, it is a must to have a DSP be a part of that system. And with a DSP integrated amplifier, you're going to get that as part of the solution. Now, with all that said, what might make a DSP amplifier not be the best choice for you? In what case would a more conventional amp be a better choice? Well, simply put, if you're not willing to learn how to properly use the DSP system, 
software and tune a system. My friends, I totally understand DSP software can be a bit overwhelming at first, and there is definitely a lot to learn if you want to properly implement a DSP as part of your system. With that said, even if you do find the topic of incorporating a DSP as part of your system sort of intimidating, I would still encourage you to try a DSP integrated amplifier. You can do a very basic setup where you're just setting the crossovers. That's something that you would need to know how to set properly on a more conventional amplifier anyhow, but by properly setting those initially and also doing your initial gain settings, again, things that you would have to do on a more conventional amplifier, doing all that first and then kind of easing into the process of tuning with a DSP, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Why not give it a shot? Now, the second reason though that a DSP integrated amplifier might not be the best choice for you is if you are expecting the DSP option within that amplifier to somehow fix an installation issue that's part of your install. It's critical to understand that a digital signal processor is not meant to correct installation errors. As an example, let's say that you didn't really follow proper installation techniques when installing a set of speakers into the doors. Let's say that there are large gaps around the speakers that are allowing for some cancellations. Let's say that the speaker isn't rigidly mounted into the door, so you're having vibration issues. These are things that a DSP can't really fix. The final reason that a DSP integrated amplifier might not be the best choice for you is if you're on such a limited budget that you simply can't include DSP as part of your system for the time being. I totally get it my friends, car audio is a hobby and hobbies come with an expense. And right now your budget just simply might not allow for DSP to be a part of it. But with that said, I would definitely encourage you in the future to consider adding a standalone DSP to upgrade the abilities of that system. At the end of the day, what it all boils down to is DSPs definitely add a ton of value to your system. And if you can incorporate it into your amplifier, it has even more additional benefits. In fact, I'm just gonna put this out there. If you care enough to be watching this video right now, I think that a DSP is the right choice for you. Now, don't forget if you are looking for an extremely compact yet amazing sounding amp line that has both DSP and non-DSP options, check out the Pico line from our show sponsor, Moscone America at the link down in the video description. A special thanks to them along with Jerry and the rest of the Patreon membership team for making these videos possible. And of course, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching.